So here's how I calculate how much top coat I'm going to need on my doors. I'm going to do runner 688 top coat, white dove. I'll just go along and count my doors and I figure two ounces per door. And if there's big doors with double panels, I'll count those as two separate doors. Um, smaller drawer fronts, I'll just count as a half door. So I'll count two of those together as one door. So here's how I go. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, 60, 62, 64, 66, 68, 70, I'll count this together as 1, 72, 74, 76, 78, 80. So I'm at about 80 ounces of top coat. That should hold out about right. Um, most times I'll have just a little bit left over at that rate. If I'd be at 78 ounces, I would just round it up to 80, but I'm ending up pretty much right on 80, 78 to 80 right here. So I think that's where I'll stop and mix that up. 80 ounces of uh, top coat. So that means you can calculate how much paint you're gonna need for a kitchen. So if we do at a maximum four coats of top coat, two on each side, that would be 80 times four. So 80 times two is 160, uh, 80 times four is 320, and that's gonna be roughly uh, two and a half gallons or something like that. And so usually three gallons of paint does a kitchen for me three gallon is is pretty much what I get for an average size kitchen and they'll usually be just a little leftover I'd rather have a little leftover than run out because yeah I'd rather spend a little money than have a little extra paint than have to rush order in something and ship it overnight um, it's just not worth trying to cut it too close so, uh, so you might not need four coats of paint, uh, depending on how heavy you put it on. I prefer to do two light coats on each side. Some people spray heavier. If you're using an airless, you might spray a little heavier than what I do. But it all depends on what tip size you're using and all of that. So I'm using a small tip. I'm using an air assisted airless. I'm doing a light coat, probably close to three wet mills. I used to spray heavier. But, um, and then I still sometimes had to spray twice. And so I found that doing two light coats at about three wet mills each, I get better results than trying to spray a heavy five to six wet mill. Um, though it depends a little bit on, I mean, temperatures, humidity, really do play a big factor here. And not just the air temperature, I mean, even the temperature of your wood so you can heat up a room pretty fast, but if your wood is still cool, uh, you know, 50, 60 degrees, even in the 60s, you may have some issues. So these are some things that people don't always think about when they're spraying and they have like bubbles and they have issues with spraying is realizing that that temperature and humidity and not only air temperature, but the wood temperature is important and the temperature of your fluid you're spraying. If you have this in a garage on the floor, I don't care if your air temperature is 70 degrees, if it's down on the floor, your fluid temperature is probably down, you know, in the 60s. And so uh, the easiest way to heat that up, get it up to temperature is maybe keep it up on a shelf in a warm place or put it in a bucket of warm water for a while, let it warm up. You don't want it overly warm because that's going to kick it off too fast if you're adding a catalyst but keep your fluid in the like 70 to 80 degree temperature and it's going to atomize a lot better it's going to flow better um, a lot of yeah just good good things happen when you've got a little warmer fluid but i've made it too warm already and then the catalyst kicks off pretty quickly and you definitely don't want to do that I would also add about the primer. Uh, primer, you're gonna tend to use a little more than two ounces per door per coat. Um, you'll probably use closer to three. At least that's what I kind of aim for. Primer tends to be 
um, a little more high solids than the top coat and to get the coverage that you want um, I usually calculate around three ounces for primer and two for top coat and that's per side per coat so um, if you do the math that's um, I like to do two coats of primer and two top coats um, I have already gotten by with just one top coat but like I said I've kind of come to the point where I like to do two light two light uh, coats of all of them I don't even spray my primer super heavy um, I like to actually put a little bit of retardant in it to let it flow out and if I do that it flows out really nice it's almost like glass off the gun and there's almost like zero sanding needed I just scuff them up a little bit between each coat but I spend very little time sanding my doors between coats because um, yeah, you can put it on heavy. I'm talking about doing new doors now. Um, and if you're doing old doors and you're trying to, you know, fill in imperfections, you might spray a little heavier on your primer and spend a little more time sanding. But I'm talking now in the context of a, of a new door where you've already got a smooth substrate and you don't, you're not trying to fill in imperfections. So um, that's the way to go. Um, you could also use white vinyl sealer for your primer and that dries super quick and you can do your two coats back to back pretty much and um but the, the other thing is about doing light coats you can almost spray back to back as well especially when you know humidity is a little lower and things are drying quickly uh, you can spray a coat of primer lightly put a fan on it and if your heat's where it belongs it'll dry really quickly you can almost turn around and do your second coat if you're spraying lightly, like I said, do minimal sanding. You don't want to sand down into the wood grain or the MDF, whatever you've got in your doors. Um, let that first coat kind of seal in there and lock in there. A little bit of time probably does help that because your catalyst is going to cure uh, the paint if you have a little more time. But just saying that as far as dry time and recoat times, but when you spray lighter coats, you can do more coats quicker and faster. And in my opinion, you get better results than trying to do a lot of heavy coats where you have to then spend more time sanding and more time waiting to dry. My opinions, uh, if you have any comments on that, I'd love to hear your experience. I'll put that down in the comments below. If you have questions, feel free to ask too.